Hello friends today we are going to show you how to use virtual machines and ovf and ovf file into the mac system for that you need to download virtual box so just go to the virtualbox.org site just click on the download sections and click on os x host it will take little bit time to download depend on your internet speed once the package is downloaded you need to just double click on the package it will open the dmg file start verifying the package You just need to click virtualbox.package. Yeah, in backend it will start installing your the applications in your system. Same like the window, you need to click on next Mac. In the Mac OS, we need to click on continue, install, continue, something like that. I think the main difference. Yes, main thing for any applications or software that you are going to install in the Mac system that requires the admin password. It's done. Yeah, now you can move the package into the press because we do not require right now. So go to the application to open the virtual box, find out the virtual box. Yeah, it's here. Just double click on virtual box. It's like the same UI that we have seen into the VMware workstation in Windows. Just click on the new. You can select the OS that you are going to install. Just give a name to your new machine. Yeah, that's fine. Let's that continue. Set up the RAM. How much you want to allocate? I will allocate around uh, 4 GB. Okay, oh, that's too much. Okay, that's yeah. I think it's. I think it's okay. It's seven o'clock. Yeah, it's 4.5. I think okay. Yeah, create a virtual disk and click on continue. Yeah, I want uh, VMDK because uh, the files that but uh, VMware workstation support is almost uh, VMDK files. So just click on VMDK and click on continue. Because maybe I need to upload the VMs that are created by the VMware workstation and that now I need load or export or import in this uh, virtual box so I need a format that is common commonly used by the virtual virtual box and the VMware workstations okay guys now we have created a virtual machine with specific parameters right, that uh, how much RAM we required how much hard disk we required and which operating system we are going to install right so after that what we have to do is just power on the virtual machine it will pop out a new window and then it will ask you to provide the boot media see here it's showing the bootable media is not found now you have to select the iso file just click on this choose the disk image it will give you an option to browse where is your files right i have put my files that iso files in the operating systems I want to install Windows 7 right I will click it on it will open right 
now it won't start automatically okay no issue if it won't start no problem just click on the cut it will ask you to power off the machine okay do it power off the machine and then start it again now it will auto detect the boot media and will start installing the machine okay after this whatever steps are going to come that is the basic that you that you should know if you are installing the windows system like next select the partition and the language and the other things after that your virtual machine is ready just choose it it's the same like you are installing the windows 7 into the vmware workstation in the windows operating system right so there is nothing big difference difference in the Mac or Windows or virtual environment in the Windows operating system you need VMware workstations and on the Mac you need virtual box however the virtual box also for the Windows operating system you can use it in Windows as well okay so this one I showed you how you can install a VM using the ISO now the other options I'm going to show you Okay, just wait, let me just remove this disk. Now, other thing is that you already have a virtual machine that you want to use in your Mac system. That is maybe created over the Windows operating system using the VMware workstation or that is exported by the ESXS server. So, no problem. You just need to go to the file, import appliance will ask you to browse the location of the virtual machines like already I have selected uh, the machines let me just show you I have I have these uh, labs okay so just wanted to upload this one so from it will support the OVF file you have to select the OVF file right just select the OVF file click on open continue Whatever things are there, the network adapter, USB controller, if you don't want, just uncheck the things or just click on import. It will start importing the virtual machine into its uh, local disk where the virtual box is storing all the VMs. It's nothing a big difference. It's just copying the file from the your uh, locations and copy the putting all the files into the folder that that virtual box is using to store all the VMs that's the simple thing you have to do after that the machine will be into your virtual box you can start and you can start working on the virtual machines thank you guys just enjoy the virtual environment even in your Mac OS